Begin by finding a comfortable seat, legs crossed. You can sit on your heels or maybe even sit with the legs extended out nice and long. Make sure you use a block, a cushion, pillow if you need to. And instead of closing the eyes over to settle into class, I want you to simply find a dristy point. So a dristy is a point of focus that can be just where your eyes naturally fall. So for me, it's directly in front of me on the floor, just a little way ahead. And as we settle into class, I want you to keep your eyes open and focused on your dristy point. So let's keep the breath nice and natural, sitting up nice and tall, rolling the shoulders down away from the ears, hands just resting on top of the knees or in your lap, wherever's most comfortable for you. Your gaze is nice and soft. You're just focusing on your dristy point. The reason I'm getting you to focus on your dristy is that we're doing a little balance flow today. And there are three main things that I like to guide my students in when we're doing anything to do with balances, and that is finding your dristy, which we've done. Having a nice, easy, even breath, which you should have now. So we're not controlling the breath, we're just allowing it to come and go. Breathing easy in and out through the nostrils. And the last thing is activating the core. So while you're sitting here focusing on your dristy, breath is nice and easy. I want you to activate your core. So gently draw your navel in towards your spine. And feel the core activated. So as we move through our class today, I'd like you to keep these three things in mind. No doubt you might forget one or two as you're focusing in on your balances, but I'll just gently remind you every now and again, dristy point, breath, engaging the core. Let go of your dristy point. Maybe take a few nice, easy neck movements, right to left, left to right. Maybe chin to chest, and then lifting the chin. Turning the head to the right, and then turning the head to the left. Let's bring the arms behind us, fingertipping the floor, take an inhale, lift the chest up. And then gently lower the chest, bring the arms out front. Big inhale as you pull the hands away. Draw your chin to your chest. Let the arms gently fall down, come up onto your hands and knees, preparing for your cat-cow, warming up our spine and our back here. Inhale, dip the belly, curl the tailbone, crown of the head up. Exhale as everything curls under. Inhale as you dip the belly. Exhale as you curl under. Push the mat away from you with your hands. Draw your navel to your spine. Feel that beautiful stretch in the shoulder blades. On your inhale, curl the tailbone, crown the head up. And exhale. All right, come into your neutral tabletop, tuck those toes under, big lift up into your downward facing dog. So let's have the hands spread shoulder width apart. If you feel like you need more space, then just walk the hands out to the width of the mat. This just gives the shoulders a little bit more room and you can do the same with the feet if you like as well. 
We're going to pause here for eight breaths. Feel free to make it a moving dog if you like. So you can pedal your heels up and down. You might bend your knees so that you can press the mat away, lift the hips a little higher, and then reach the heels down towards the floor. Engaging our breath. You might even find a dristy point here as you just let the head relax between the arms, looking between the legs, and find a dristy, a point of focus somewhere behind you, letting your inhale anchor you and your exhale release any tension. All right, take an easy gaze between your hands and then step your right foot forward. So we're going to lift into our high lunge. So I want you to lengthen the spine, lift your chest and your chin and then roll your shoulders away from your ears like you're about to take off. Then I want you to bring your hands to your hips, engage your core, big inhale as you press through your right foot, lifting into your high lunge. So let's just pause here for a moment. Lengthen your tailbone, square your hips towards the front, hug your inner thighs in towards each other. And you can just relax your hands down on your hips. If you'd like, you can reach your arms up overhead. If that feels nice. I want you to find your dristy here. So somewhere where the eyes just naturally fall straight ahead. Breath is nice and easy, and your core is engaged. So for this first round, we're going to move from our balance a nice, easy step by step. And then in the next round, we're going to take a little bit of flow. So I want you just to bring your hands back down to your hips if you've lifted them up overhead. And I want you to press through the right foot as you step the left foot forward, come into Tadasana. From here, shift the weight into the right foot. Gently begin to lift the left knee up. So the sole of the left foot is parallel with the floor and you're just lightly hugging left knee. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Lift the kneecap of the right leg and keep the right foot nice and flat so the right foot feels grounded. Now you can stay here if you like, or you can keep your right hand on your left knee. Take a big inhale as you open out to the left. So your dristy might move here. The key is to keep the gaze nice and soft. Easy breath. Your core is still engaged. All right, take an easy flow back to center. Bringing your hand into heart center as you lower that left foot down, keep the weight in the right foot. So we're just toe tipping the floor with the left foot here. And then I want you to roll the shoulders down, lengthen the tailbone, engage the core. And as you begin to tip the torso forward, the left heel lifts up. So we want to engage the core here and just take it nice and easy, keep the hips center as we lower down into Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Find your dristi, easy gaze. Easy breath, engaged core. And if you have a block handy, then you might like to lower the arms down for balance and rest the hands on top of the block. All right, we need to come up the way we came down. So easy as you lift back up. Keep the weight in the right foot and then transfer into your tree pose. 
So you can have the inside of the left foot to the inside ankle, the calf or the inner thigh, whatever feels best. Find your dristi, easy breath, core is engaged. Take an inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale as you open your palms, soften your shoulders. Gently bring left knee to center, bend your standing leg and then take an easy step back into a high lunge. Take it nice and easy. All right. Dristi, breath and core. Take an inhale, reach through side body. Exhale as you windmill the arms down. Easy step back into a downward facing dog. Pedal your heels out. Stretching through the right leg and then the left. So as we come into the left hand side of our little balance flow, I just want to remind you here that we're often imbalanced on the right or the left depending on which side we tend to favor so don't be surprised if the side is slightly more wobbly or maybe a little bit easier to balance let your inhale be your anchor and your exhale release anything that you no longer need right now gazing forward Stepping the left foot forward. So once again, nice deep bend in that left knee. Lift your chest and your chin. Lengthen your spine. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Hands on the hips. Big inhale as you press through your left foot. So you can bend in that right knee. Lengthen your tailbone down. Square your hips off. Hang out here if you like. Or take an inhale as you raise the arms up. All right, I want you to find your dristi, your breath, and your core. And then step the right foot forward. Bring the arms down, hands on hips. Shift the weight into the left foot. Lifting the right knee up. Bring the hands to the hips. All the while we still have our dristy focus. Staying here if you wish, otherwise left hand, right knee. As you inhale, open out to the right, your dristi may move. Coming back to center, take it nice and easy. Bring your hands to heart center, keep the weight in the left foot as you gently lower it down. Toe tipping the floor. Now I want you to find your dristi first, your easy breath, engage the core, and then you slowly begin to tip the torso forward as the right heel lifts up. Remember to have your block there for support if you need to. Keep your core engaged throughout the whole range of movement. Remember, you don't have to come all the way down. A little bit is enough. Try not to grip the mat with your left toes. Keep the foot grounded. And we're going to come back up the way we came down. Nice and easy. Dristy, dristy, dristy. Keep the weight in the left foot. 
and transfer straight into your tree pose. Inhale as you raise the arms up overhead. Exhale as you open the palms, roll the shoulders down. Draw your knee to center, bend standing knee, easy step back into your high lunge. Settling down here for a moment. Inhale as you stretch through the side body, exhale windmill the arms, step back into an easy downward facing dog. Walk the heels up and down. Find your dristy, that point between the legs, somewhere that you can relax the gaze, collect the breath. I love how focused we become in our balances without even knowing it. We have this intense focus. All right, as we go through our little flow again, this time we're going to move a little quicker and flow from pose to pose. If you would like to stay just moving from one pose to the next, then you're more than welcome to do that. Otherwise, following along and just remember dristy, breath and core. Whenever you're ready, stepping that right foot through to the front. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest and your chin, feeling nice and strong. Engage your core as you inhale, peeling up into your high lunge. Pausing here for a moment. Hug those inner thighs in. See if you can square the hips up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, soften your shoulders. This time as you inhale, I want you to draw the left knee in. Pause here for a moment. Find your dristy. Anchor your breath. Engage your core. Take an inhale as you open to the left if you like. Exhale back to center. Bring your hands into heart center. Find your dristy. Anchor your breath. Engage your core. And as you inhale, Tilting the torso forward as you extend the left heel out the back. Dristy breath and core. As you inhale, drawing back up to standing and coming straight into your tree pose. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Find your dristy, engage your breath and your core. Then take an inhale, knee comes to center. Exhale, easy step back into your high lunge. Inhale as you reach your side body. Exhale, sweep the arms down, step it back. Walk the heels up and down. All right, easy gaze forward, step that left foot forward, lengthen, lift. As you inhale, peel it up, exhale, settle into your lunge, inhale up, 
Exhale, soften your shoulders. Next, inhale, step that right foot forward, left the knee. Find your dristi, your breath, engage your core. On your inhale, open to the right, your dristi may move. Easy, inhale back to center, hands to heart center. Exhale into Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale straight into your tree pose. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, soften your shoulders. Inhale, draw the knee to center. Exhale, easy step back. Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, sweep the hands down, downward facing dog. So we're going to do one more round of this little balancing flow. And you're going to go in your own time. I'm not going to cue you, but I'm going to move along through the flow. So if you need to, you can take a little squizzy at visuals, but you're probably going to be so focused on your dristi that you won't even know that I'm here. So whenever you're ready, however you need to, step the right foot forward and then go through the flow in your own time.
when you've finished your flow on the right and then the left, coming back into your downward facing dog and just pedaling the heels up and down. Take your time getting there, there's no rush. And gazing forward, bending the knees, taking a nice easy stroll up into a forward fold. Feet are hip width apart, knees are bent. See if you can bring your nose in towards your knees and let the crown of the head be parallel with the floor. Release your elbows if you've taken hold. Lengthen your tailbone as you stack your vertebra, coming out one notch at a time. Standing nice and tall in your Tadasana. Find your dristi. Breath is nice and easy. Core is lightly engaged, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Bring your hands into heart center, close over the eyes. Namaste.